everyone, my name is Hannah Solomon. I am from St. Paul's Parish and today I am going to talk about the topic God is Love. It is an undying love of God and everlasting love. The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead means three things for us. One, the certainty of hope of life after death. Two, he gives peace to those who trust him. Three, the assurance of his presence with us. As in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, the Lord says, I will be with you always, even at the end of the age, which means his assurance of his presence with us always. It is rightly said in the Bible in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God has promised to be with us through the difficulties and troubles of day-to-day -day living. He stands by us, not just as our Savior, not just as the Lord of the living and the dead, but as a trusted friend. It is peace with God that our sins are washed away by His precious blood shed on the cross. In Prophet Jeremiah, it is said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. Whenever we are tempted to think that nobody loves us, we need to think of the cross. Jesus bore that shame and suffering because he loves us. He loved us before he made us. God's love is the only love that never falters and never fails. In the first letter of St. John, chapter 4, verses 7 to 8, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows him. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love is eternal, meaning having no end. God's love justifies our lives and fills us with hope for the future. Everything God does is just and right, just as 